was working at a club in Minneapolis, and it's a great club. It's intimate. The crowds that show up are very kind of progressive and will go places with you. Other crowds won't. And I was having a great set in the sense that it was total freedom. It was one of those things where, you know, you're you're exploring ideas, you're taking them further. The the laughter is rolling. You're, you're building up credits on some bits and they go right into the next one and it's just effortless and you're flying and, and, and you're their leader and you've all become one. We're just all going, you know? And I'm about 45 minutes into the set and then some some woman heckles me. Maybe she said that one of my jokes was sexist or something. And so I, I unleashed a very quick laser-like drone strike and it landed. The thing about a heckler is you have to gauge and restrain because depending on how much of an asshole they've been, you can hit them accordingly. So the audience decides to moan over what I have said to her. They feel I've overstepped me, their leader their imperial wizard of laughter, the guy who has taken them through 45 minutes of, they showed up, they paid money to laugh, okay? That was the expectation. That was my job for the evening was to make them laugh. I took it beyond that. Now they collectively have just kicked me in the groin while trying to defend this show, our show, from this woman. So now everything changes in an instant. There's a pause where I recoil. <laughs> And I, I look at them in a completely different light. And I say to all 300 of them, I go, oh, yeah? Oh, is, is that how it is? That's how it's going to be? Okay, fine. That's cool. You're with her? Here's what we're going to do now. I'm going to walk the room. I don't know if you've seen this before, but I am now going to get you to leave this room. And I began telling every horrible joke. I had ever written and not set on stage because it was too inappropriate. <laughs> Thoughts, not even constructed jokes. 9-11, AIDS, childhood AIDS, midget jokes, 9-11, abortion. It was relentless. It was an attack. And I didn't give a shit. And they started getting up. And I started saying, see you later. Party of six, heading out. I do a couple more jokes. Up oh, four more. We lost four by the bar. And I would I would escort them out verbally, some of them yelling at me as they went. You know, you just, I got a little carried away that night. You know, I thought I was all powerful when in fact there is still some kind of a, a social standard. There's like a, there's a dynamic in the room. There's protocol. And I ignored it because I was the messiah. <laughs>